Hey, this is Tim Rio with Donna Cryer from Cryer Health. You're the CEO of Cryer Health. Yes, I am. I'm the founder and CEO of Cryer Health, which is a consulting firm that's focused on creating patient-centric solutions. We work on alliance development, collaborations, partnerships, and we've been excited to work in the digital health space, matching emerging technologies to patients and patient advocacy communities. So I love what panel that they just had up there because it was all women, and women consume 80% of healthcare products, is from my understanding. How, what, are you, what are you doing to, to, to reach the overall audience here. Sure. Women really are the healthcare decision makers, so it makes sense that they be involved in design of digital healthcare products, on helping to, to market them and make sure that they are adopted as quickly as possible. You know, I spoke about the role of moms in particular of working with their children on creating personal health records and really managing the care of their families using digital health tools. And I think that's a very exciting role that women can play and will play in advancing digital health. So we're, we're talking earlier about the pull and push-pull factor for creating awareness and then bringing new technologies into digital health. One of the things that I've been successful doing in the uh, with patient advocacy organizations is using them as a platform to highlight and identify emerging technologies that matter to those disease states and those patients and uh, being able to put those technologies and those innovators in uh, and expose them to hospitals, health systems, pharmaceutical companies and others who can be purchasers, who can do pilot programs, channel marketing partners and really accelerate those and so in the first Innovation Council meeting that I've been able to, to hold on, the, on involving liver disease, uh, we were able to match 50% of the companies with hospitals and health systems who are actually going to implement those innovations and the others are working on pilots with the associations. Where are you going with all of this? My intent is to create a global organization to fight liver diseases and really do that from a patient-centered perspective. And key to doing that globally will be the, the uh, use of, of social media and of digital tools, whether oh, really? it's, uh, absolutely, um, in uh, m a creating greater access to clinical trials, um, using new web platforms, as well as reaching more patients with um, tools, whether it's mobile apps and other things that I use personally to manage their symptoms and better communicate that information to their doctors. How advanced are we right now? It seems like we're going through, we're going to go and going through right now a massive paradigm shift. We absolutely are going through a paradigm shift, particularly in the patient advocacy world. If I could do one thing, I would be matching the sort of energy of e-patients with traditional uh, infrastructure for patient advocacy organizations. I think that will be truly powerful and when one of the main things to do that is is the use of digital tools of, of mobile apps of getting those traditional organizations or starting new ones as I am yeah. that really are premised on a sort of next generation uh, you know a healthcare and digital infrastructure so we're here to help spread the word around the world here we're at CES one of the biggest events of the whole planet what's your ask here what are yeah. what, what how can people reach you and really what are you trying to get the word out. Sure. Um, I am very excited to be here at CES and be speaking at the Digital Health Summit. And so I would love uh, those who are interested in patient engagement and in matching uh, patient advocacy to digital health uh, to contact me um, on either of my website www.cryerhealth.com or www.dcpatient.us, uh, which is my uh, patient engagement website. Um, I'm also found on Twitter at uh, dcpatient is my Twitter handle. So we're going to tweet up this interview, we'll push it out on the internet, and then we'll connect up. And I have some stuff for you offline, I'll show you. Excellent. And we want to thank you so much for your time, and thanks uh, for being on our panel and being an inspiration for women entrepreneurs. Thank you so much. Thank you.